I thought I went out for grocery shopping, but somehow I ended up in TJ Maxx again. This is kind of nice, right? Before going to look at the bags, I want to show you this is my best buy at TJ Maxx. This is a Korean brand sleep mask. I think it's called La Neige and it's amazing. You have to get it if you see one. They have so many great brands for the facial care products and they all are good brands and the price of course is very good as well. You just have to find one that suits your need the most. I'm seeing quite a lot of bags and accessories like wallets at this TJ Maxx store. Sometimes TJ Maxx can be quite boring to be honest, but I think I see a lot of Michael Kors bags this time. Look at the wallet, they are overloaded. <laughs> Somebody come to buy some. Look at this, Bottega's dupe bags at TJ Maxx. It actually looks quite good, surprisingly. It seems really well made as well, so if you don't want to spend 3-4 thousand on Bottega's bag but you do like this kind of style, you know where to find them. If you purchase Michael Kors bag at TJ Maxx or on their website, oftentimes the outlet bag and the retail bags are mixed together. This is an outlet bag and look at the characters on the logo, they are all stick together. But you can't just verify based on one thing because Michael Kors does switch things up and mix things up sometimes so it's a little bit tricky. For example, this one, the character, they don't stick together but it's still an outlet bag once you look inside. I do like this Michael Kors outlet bag. I would buy it if it has less logos. I like this one too but personally too much logo for me and oh this, this look good for spring. Before I continue, I'd like to put a disclaimer here that Michael Kors switch things up quite frequently so this is just my personal experience sharing with you it may not be always accurate. This is also an outlet bag once you look inside. The lining would say Michael Kors all over instead of the changeling pattern. I found a Michael Kors retail bag to show you and look at the logo, the characters, they don't stick together and you pay attention, you can tell that the hardware seems to have higher quality. And then look at the lining. This is a retail bag lining. It has this changeling pattern. But of course, bags without lining would be hard to tell. Also pay attention to the pockets. Usually the pockets has this leather trim over them. And for the zip pockets, you also see this leather framing around it. I hope this helps and if you want to practice differentiate the outlet and the retail bags, you can check out Michael Kors website. Thanks for joining me today and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!